Hello, humans, ghouls, and mutate fools. Welcome to the channel, Beware Mutate Zombies. I am Mara, mutate zombie, and you don't need to beware me because it is winter. Well, like te technically, it's still fall, but it's winter. The snow is coming, and I'm so excited. Like, yeah, I'll barely be able to move because snow is not good for zombies. We freeze very easily, just like how in heat we, like, deteriorate very quickly. But, ah, I love snow. I loved winter when I was a human, and I love winter when I'm dead. What's, what's nice is that I can't feel how cold I am. So I can just be in the snow, just, I, I can be a snowman. I could just stand there. Like, I always wanted to do this as a human, but, you know, you can't do that because then you'll get sick and then, ha, 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 But now that I'm a zombie, I can just stand there and I can freeze. I can become a popsicle. I can be, I can be a snowman, snowwoman, snow person. I can be snow. I'm so excited. I, uh, I'm just so excited. Oh, uh, I'm so excited. So, yeah, you don't need to be wearing me. I'm too excited to become a popsicle. Like, uh, you don't understand. I love snow. Just like how much I love rain. It's just, oh, it's so pretty. I could just stop and stare. And what's cool about it being a zombie apocalypse is that I, I, like, yes, I do have a day job. I do have to work and keep things going and move it along. But, like, it's not as bad as when society was a thing. Like... I know we're trying to make society back to where it is, but oh my gosh, just being able to stare at the prettiness and be like, ah, yes. Would be nice is if I could have some tea. Just like, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Stand with some, with a hot mug of tea. Like cocoa is good too, but tea, that's, that's nice for the throat, depending on what tea you have. But I'm so excited. Anyways, today we're going to continue on with the game that I am now starting to hate, uh, which is Sunless Skies. As some of you know, I'm starting to hate this game because those Scrivener's, I just, I can't, I, oh, and that ball of, that nut grossness, ah, oh, I'm just starting to hate this game. Like, I, I like the story behind it, and I want to keep going because the story, but also, I just want to finish it. Like, I, like, uh, I don't even want to explore the world anymore, I'm just so, uh, but yes, we're going to continue on with that game, and hopefully we will get further into the quest line of finding uh, fame because that that's the one that we chose for Calcifer. So let's see how far we get. Yes? Yes. Okay. Let's go. Fail better. I am failing. I don't know if I'm failing better, but I'm failing. How do you fail better? Your progress is saved whenever you blah 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 blah. Okay. I barely remember what we're trying to do uh we're in new winchester okay uh how much what, what do we have going on here 282 okay okay we have this from magdalene's okay so we're going to magdalene's oh zoom out okay so magdalene's is there but i know it was circle everything i do was in a circle uh, Bronzewood, Port Avon. Oh, I need a drill. How much is a drill? That's what I need. So first... Uh, is it mining? Um, I'm pretty sure it is mining. It says through rock, though. I know it's not canning. It is... It is this, isn't it? it it's gotta be this. Uh, you don't need elegance when boring through rock. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's this. Um, I need 400 sovereigns. So I'm close to being there. Um, I'm not getting the, innoc the incautious driver. I almost call him innocuous again. Because I already have chief engineers, the rat brigade. I trust them. Um, so let's go ahead and get fuel because we need that uh, let's see is there anything in the bank tons of munitions crockery yeah no nothing we actually need so all right stories station <clears throat> oh yeah we need so much how much do we need seven yeah we need seven Sky Stories and Terror, Tales of Terror. I cannot remember where to get these other than Port Avon. So that's a thing. Um, okay, so... 
let's see here. Completed a rap brigade, trading opportunity, retiring filmmaker, right? You, Hybris. Which is east northeast. So we're going to go to Maglins and then east northeast. So it's probably up here somewhere. I don't want to go anywhere over here. I hate this place. Maybe if we go this way, it'll be better than going over here. Hopefully it's not as terrifying. We'll find out. Um, so let's go to Magdalene's. Get a port report. The Titania, get a port report. Turn in our port reports. Back to New Winchester to fuel up, probably. And then we'll go over this away. This, this corner over here. Yes, yes. Okay, so Magdalene's is straight, basically. Straight to the... Right, left, left, straight to the left. It was October 1st, 1905. When the Tactiles won the upper hand in the Reach, a new wave of settlements began. Ooh. <gasps> Trade a Sky Store for supplies. No, I need those. Reduce terror. And if you're starving, buy you some time. Yeah, could use it. Terror has fallen, thank you. Cool, so does that mean that we'll see new settlements? Well, not new settlements, more settlements? Settlements. Okay. Just around this corner. Grab Brigade considers Magdalene's for a while. Finally! It's very red. That's cute. I think I need tea for the rat raid. I need something. I can't remember what. Uh, Magdalene's the house of small comfort. Speak with the attendant. Speak with an attendant. Uh, yeah, I know how you guys work. Write a port report. Thank you. <clears throat> Observe guests. Seek a meeting with the amenable host. Waiting list. Cool beans. We'll get there eventually. Uh... I don't want to go to the market. I don't need to treat nightmares. I don't need to treat terror. Bizarre. Take these. Sell. Thank you. Okay, so now I have 602. So that should be enough for the uh, mining thing so I can get bronze wood. I think I have to go to dangerous places to get bronze wood. I'm not really excited for that, but I'd rather that than Scrivener's, and I'd rather that than buying them. So buy that. Thank you. Stories. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. Let's see. Keepsake market. Purchase an old journal. The diary of another skyfarer full of dark secrets and sinful life. Ooh. Recruit crew. I don't need that. Write away the time with other captains. Oh, while away the time. I don't need to reduce. But a journal could have things that I need, right? And it's just 60. Savage secret. Not what I wanted, but thank you. The nurses hand over your new purchase, warning you not to tell anyone where you found it. They add that there will likely be more offers like this very soon. Okay. It's not what I wanted, but I'll take it. And then, what did you guys need? <gasps> I can use my savage secret. Talk to the Rat Brigade. Why exactly do they need a locomotive? Perhaps sharing a confidence of your own will encourage candor. Yeah. Use it. Missing numbers. Cinders lights a cigar. Our Sarge kicked the bucket in the blockade. But the night before, he told each of us he left us with something in a vault. Old Sod must have been loaded. Thing is, we need his account number to get it. He gave part of it to each of us, so there'd be no thieving. Hence our predicament. That last mission, our lieutenant sold us out. Half the squad died. The rest scattered. Oh no. We took the numbers off the dead, but we need to find the survivors of the company. Between us, we have the number. But, no. Yeah. And we... W words do not word right now. And we still have to find the vault. Cinders grinds her yellow teeth in frustration. Sarge kept some stuff at Carillion. Doubt it's the vault, but it might be a clue. She cocks her head. Fifty sovereigns for a trip to Carillion, then? Okay. Sure. Tell me where it is. Where do I go? Where do you go? Well, it, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not going to tell me where to go. 
Uh, dun -dun -dun -dun. Learning about the rack gay Krillian finally. Nope. And I had a quest that told me to where it was too. Mother clucker. Okay. Um, ask Albrecht about Sarge. They're on a quest because of his bequest. What was he like? How did he die? The past unburied. Albrecht is polishing his claws. Sarge casts a long shadow. He assembles us at the start of the Winchester Vault. Oh, he's... okay. The best fighting rats who came through the avid horizon. He made us a unit. He adjusts his whiskers. But we had no respect. We were expendable. To get better contracts, we had to be respectable. So he found the rodent of officer class to lead us. Part hamster, I think. He sighs. And that's where it all went wrong. He lapses into silence and will say no more. Oh no. They can be a riot if they're in the mood. I'm good. I learned enough about you guys. I don't think I'll be able to get to Krillian because I don't know where it is. Right? That's Lustrum. Yeah, no, we don't have Krillian yet. Okay, so let's go I know I said let's go to Titania but I really just want to go find Hybris. Uh, no, we need money to upgrade the ship. So Titania, New Titania, Victory Hall, Winchester. So down. I could also go to Leadbetter and Stay Roads. Ah, decisions. That will cost me. Oh, Nectar, Corsair Nectar going cheap. I don't have any jobs that need. I mean, there's this. But I'm about to go to Titania, and usually I can just get it myself. So. So I think I'm good. Let's down. Down, 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 down. For those of you who have seen a uh, Devil's Carnival, the Devil's Carnival, Devil's Carnival, uh, Hallelujah, you might recognize that song. And now I want to rewatch that series, and I'm very sad that there's not a third film. Erica. Um, we don't. Oh, we do need a stripper for repairs. Never mind. We need the repairs. Thank you. Ah! No, 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 no. What is wrong with you? Wait, you're a tactile scout, but you're all like. gross looking. Like. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! What the? What the? What? 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 What is wrong with you? What? What? What is wrong with you? all squiddy and you're screaming. What the heck happened to you? Can you be killed? Oh, oh. What the heck? Oh, jeez. No, no, no. Get away. Get, no, 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 no. No, no. No, I wanted to beat you up, but now I just want to run. Run, 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 run. Do not become like the Erica. Do not become like the Erica. Run, 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 run. Oh my goodness, what was that? Forester B carcasses float around weapons ready order cinders. We're near Titania. Uh-huh. I think weapons need to be ready much, much sooner than this. Did you see that thing? What happened? What the fuck was that? 
Okay, Porphyry Font. Uh huh. No, you cannot have my Sky Story. You can totally take my inspiration. I'll take. Yeah, I don't need that. Uh, you give an afternoon to one of the port's prized artists, strolling over the nectar-dripping petals of Titania, lost in conversation. Her eyes barely leave you. By evening, they are light with ideas. Thank you for the money and the experience. I, I needed it. I'm I just went through a very, very scary thing. Um, cool. Perhaps not. And then art exhibition, because we just went through something terrifying. Thank you. Write a port report. I cannot. Well, I guess I could. But it was. Oh, Albion and Eleutheria. Oh, I've not been to either of those. Wait, no. I had been to Albion, but I have not been to Eleutherian, so I can't say. Okay. Uh, Shops Bazaar. Fresh showers, get your fresh showers here. I'm good, but thank you. Um, 120. Yeah, I'm good. I'm just gonna stock up here because I'm scared. Um, hmm. I thought there was more to do, but I guess not. Okay. So, because we just got basically decimated, uh, we're gonna go to sell things and fix our ship. And yes, because I'm scared. Um, so, down and up. Well, not really down and up, like over and up. Over, down and up. I don't know how to explain it. But you know what I mean. I think maybe, possibly, you could be shaking your head, being like, bruh, we never understood you in the first place. I'm just here for background noise. In which case, I totally understand. Background, background noise for naps is fantastic. And I'm not playing any games that have jump scares, really. Like, they're, they're scares. What the hell was that shit? But, uh, you know, it's not bad. Loot! Uh, ooh. They're the same. 68%. 52%. I'm gonna have to listen to the death hymn. Cool! It was the closest option. Thank you for the experience points. But now that I know that it's that low, I don't think I'll be trying again for a while. No! No, 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 I'd rather take my chances with that tentacle ship again, okay? Okay. Nope. Mm -mm. <laughs> nope. I, I think I think if I die to the tentacle ship, I might I might just I might just quit the game. I think I think if I die to the tentacle ship, I might quit the game because there's either the tentacle ship or the spitting ball of nastiness. I don't. I'm just. Wah. What do I do? No. I'll quit the game and choose something else because no, just no. Uh -uh. I'll leave you bees alone. Bye. Please tell me you took care of the tentacle monster ship in the up here. That <laughs> Okay. If I, okay. Seem seems safe. Seems safe so far. So I just go straight around. Straight. More scary monsters. No more, no more nastiness. It's gonna blow up my ship. Be safe. 
if once we get there, we just go straight on. It's a, it's, a, it's a place. The Reprograde noses twitch and greed. It's the homestead and he's target for food, probably. Eat your fill. Leave swiftly. Trade the munitions. I really need to bring my munitions for this. Because they give you bronze wood! <sighs> Eat your fill. And I will hopefully learn something from this. I will hopefully start packing my munitions that I can give them away. Taste of smog, the sound of iron. We are home. Almost. Gotta stop at Victory Hall first. Y'all won't believe what I just saw. Deliver port reports. Thank you for the money. I appreciate it. Let's chat. You talk for a while about life in the skies when her cigarillo is just a stub. She says, I'd be grateful to hear reports. Uh huh. I, I do that already. I, I just want more things. I don't need a savage secret. Trade favor to affect the balance of power in the reach. You provided a great deal of information rather than repaying the debt. You'd rather the tactize used it in the cause for independence. Oh, that's cool. Surrender your contraband. Uh, deliver your port reports. Uh -huh. Don't need a savage secret, and I don't need an otherworldly artifact. At least I don't think I do. I don't think I do. I don't think I need an artifact. I'd rather just keep uh, the tech ties going, cause um, yeah, you guys, you guys need to defend yourselves down here. It's it's crazy. Okay, thank you for the money. I'm gonna go over this away now and repair my ship and upgrade it a little bit. So I will deal with that jazz later. What's very, very, very important to me is my ship. 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 No. I was in the I was in the right place. I'm just yeah, there we go. Repair locomotive. Partially fully repair. Thank you. Um Ooh, ten thousand five. One thousand eighty five. Ooh. Okay. Woolsey Station, explore the city. Nah, I don't care about that. Um, I'm not recruiting the driver. Um, okay, shops, bazaar. Uh, Lustrum Mines needs munitions. I don't want to go there. Completing this prospect will award you with an unlicensed chart. What does that do? Tactiles are dominant in the reach. What what what's an unlicensed chart do? One uh, Lustrum mines requires up to nine crates of munitions and will pay 135 sovereigns each. Lustrum lies to the north of New Winchester. Ooh, that is a lot of money, but I refuse to go there. Okay, I, I don't know what an unlicensed chart will get me. I wait. Will an unlicensed chart get me the new place? I don't. I don't know what it'll get me. I don't. I don't I don't want to give you my munition you know oh, maybe I should just cuz ah, I already have but it's, it's nine crates and I don't have room for nine crates I have room for not nine and I'm not gonna make room for nine either I I'm gonna get this bronze wood and I'm gonna just I'm, just, I'm gonna do my thing okay you gosh how I'm gonna nope 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 Probably people are like, who have played this game are like, no, you need to get it, you should get it. Uh, nope. 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 I refuse. I refuse.
confused right now. Engineering. Give me, give me this. Give me this. Five. And then that goes there. This goes there. Okay. <sighs> okay, so... Let's see. I should definitely next upgrade... Oh, what should I upgrade? Let's see. Movement speed, fuel consumption. Movement speed, 100, fuel consumption. Crew, 6 plus. I have 10. What's this? Uh, serial... Wit and vinegar sneeze lurker. The secret of success in life is to be ready for opportunity when it comes. A mine favored by captains eager to bedevil pursuit. Ha 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 Um, what, what is this? This is damage 10, heat 30, uh, range 1,000. No. Um, ooh, damage 15. Okay. Um, shielding. This is bronze wood. Is this the only shielding? I think this is the only shielding. So I should definitely get that. So I need 500. <coughs> 500 shielding is what I need. Uh, I will get a U because we're almost out. And now we are going to go on an adventure. A very, very scary adventure. Because I'm not going to Port Avon. Because I don't have bronze wood. And I'm not going to go buy bronze wood. I should, oh, I'm, I'm going to go explore. I'm going to go find the, 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 the filmmaker person. Hybris keeps killing me. Hybris looks disgusting. But we're going to go do it. Yes, yes, okay. All right, so we're gonna go. Uh, I don't want to. We should go to the dark places. So pass this and then we'll go up. Yes, yes, okay. I'm getting it just in case. Just in case. Who knows, maybe it stays there forever and ever, and then when I actually can afford to do it, I'll be able to. Maybe I'll have all the space in the world for it. You're, you're safe, right? Yeah, you're safe. Okay, cool. You're not a nasty, flippin' tentacle thing, so it should, should be okay. Cool. And then we're gonna pass this. Go up. Because it's east, north, east. Don't know what all that is. This corner of the sky is little traveled. It has big been given over to the fungus and the wilds and the lost. Okay. Sheridan's Expanse. 57 experience gained. Cool, cool. Thank you, thank you. Oh, what's that? A cluster of islands lie in the mist. Strings of bunting flutter optimistically between them. What? Where is, where is the, um, where's the entrance? It's down, okay, thank you. What do you mean reluctantly? Why are you reluctantly telling me you found something? Isn't it good that we found something? Batty, why? Polymer and, oh, this is the circus? It was so close. There's the dock captain, a signal declares. The crew are relieved at the sight of land. Just left. What are you talking about? 
A traveling circus has settled here, too afraid to go further and too afraid to turn back. Its clanking, gaudy locomotive that scavenges such audiences as it can from nearby homesteads and delivers them for an evening of shabby, desperate, pig t big top magic. Not pig top. Big top. B. Uh, recruit the amiable vagabond. What? All I have to do is give him two sky stories? He couldn't care less for your sovereigns. He wants to swap stories. This will give you a signaler who will increase your hearts, veils, and affiliation of Bohemia. He, uh, you find him waiting serenely at Gervais's rest, clay pipe clamped between his teeth. He claims to be an expert in snake wrangling, thimble twisting and stick swinging. He professes to be a psychologist, mythologist, and escapologist. He boasts he can tell stories that will haunt you until you die and play tunes that will make stones dance. If all that fails to entice you, he supposes he could turn his hand to signaling. I want to, but I want the stories for myself. But also, it's not money, and I do need a signaler, so I'll take you. When you accept him aboard, he pulls a grimy bottle of something opaque and unidentifiable from his inner coat pocket and takes a long, celebratory swig. I hope you're not having second thoughts already, he says, and roars with laughter. He has no luggage to speak of, just a bindle over his shoulder and a fiddle in a battered leather case. Once he has slung both onto his bed, he heads to the galley and starts performing card tricks and telling ribald jokes at the crew. Most find him charming, several make their apologies and abscond. Okay. Oh, it's Mr. Menagerie. I uh, already have a scout. I love my scout. And I don't want to spend money on more scouts. So, no thank you. The Inconceivable Circus, the greatest show. That's what the adverts promise. The reality is not impressive. Aside from the big top that dominates the circus, the place is shabby, poorly maintained, and even po more poorly attended. Bored looking circus folk run but rotting booths, and cl the clowns painted on smiles are no match for the deep set misery behind the grease paint. Even the Calliope music, Calliope? Cal Calliope? I don't know. Playing on a rundown piano is more grimly resolute than cheery. Purchase tickets. It is. Oh, that's cheap. Okay, let me write a port report first. The big top looms dramatically in the fog of the reach, but it's not nearly as imposing as the massive ob obelisk floating nearby. Some enterprising soul has hung bunting between it and the big top. As for the circus itself, outside of the performers, it is practically deserted. You may be the first new face in the audience in a quite a while. Okay. Um, try to sneak. Why would I try to sneak? Visit the amusements. Speak with the remaster. Why is this? Oh, I need tickets. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Purchase tickets. I want to go. Five tickets. For ten sovereigns. Cool. Thank you. Um. I want to visit the amusements. The midway calls. You spend time watching the sideshow attractions. The amazing invisible flea circus is immediately disappointing. The circus's strong woman, on the other hand, is arguably too good for the place, effortlessly raising all manner of heavy things over her head. The problem is that she makes it look so easy that the audience just shrugs. It seems that the only thing she cannot lift is the mood. Aww. Um, let's go to the big top. Let's see what they got. No one in the meager audience displays any enthusiasm not even when the remaster thunders on in on a horse-drawn calliope calliope i don't know then come the acts themselves oh dear the humiliated magician's trap door fails to open leaving his glamorous assistant notably unvanished the bereaved acrobat swings from a single trapeze the other hangs lonely and unused the pensive clown's fire juggling act ends in disaster and not the humorous kind less said about the lion tamer the better he should recover Oh dear. But I got a sky story back, so that's good. Circus staff are coming to recognize your face. Oh, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I only have one ticket left. Boo. Visit the ticket booth. The grubby urchin is nowhere to be seen. Oh. Scribble note. Back in, it says, followed by an indecipherable scribble. How useful. <laughs> okay. Welp. That's all I can do. Perhaps not. Uh, are there shops? Bizarre. Ooh, souls. I don't need souls. 
<gasps> bronze wood. 175. Um no. How much bronze wood do I need? I need five bronze wood. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That would hold me up to everything that I would need. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, no. I don't think I have enough. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, no. No. Thank you, though. Um, and I don't need supplies. So, yeah. The Big Top Shop. Oh, that is the Big Top Shop. Okay. Well, thank you. I'm gonna go now. Gervasis Rest. Okay. So that was here, but we still need to go even further east north northeast easty northy so we'll just keep going up i guess yes yes okay can i go through i can't go through cool beans and that's the obelisk okay definitely a brave soul nilson's point definitely a brave soul or paid well enough. Or scared enough? I don't know. Van Zessen Waste. <gasps> what are you? What are you? I can mine. Hours. Ooh, okay, okay. Cool beans. So that has hours, gotcha. I'm afraid the winsome will love it. Let's see. Ooh. Okay. Let's, let's see. Failure. Okay. You don your sky suit. Your driver pulls your locomotive alongside the wreck close enough for you to leap the gap. Uh, you squeeze with difficulty into the starlight bridge where frozen figures sit at stiff attention. The dead bridge crew mustaches bristle with ice crystals. You pick a careful path between them. Something at the far end of the room catches your eye. What could it be? An intriguingly bulging sack. How pleasantly, how pleasingly it rattles. I don't know about this. Oh, souls. Okay, cool. I don't, I don't really need souls right now, but thank you. Um, a stoppered vial falls out of the sack after sufficient shaking, a collection of gathered disappointments that someone might be willing to pay for. Okay. Cool. I'm still looking for hybris, though. You took a lot of stock with you. You prod your bat, it grudgingly admits finding something. Okay, so it's on the other side of that. Please let that be hybris. That is not hybris. I don't want to go here. I don't. I don't want to do it, but I'm going to do it. The Illyrian. Uh, leave the wreck untouched. You gain two terror. You give the order and put the wreck behind you. The crew remain tense. Will that be their fate when unlucky? Oh, I knew it! I knew it! Recover its weaponry, raid the safe, explore the captain's cabin. The bridge is in ruins, the hold is crumpled, but its main gun has survived. An engineering crew could remove it intact. This will give you a small weapon that can that you can equip while on while in dock. Or sell to an equipment shop. Okay. I'll do that. A rare find. Marauder Manganel. Your crew return in one piece and bearing the spoils of your victory. It was right that it was a right devil's remove, Captain, says the lead engineer. 
Hope you'll make good use of it. The Marder Canyon launches chunks of jagged, superheated rock via a brutally basic mechanism. Simple, ruthless, effective. Okay. We discover the remains of an old locomotive. Okay. Let me see here. I actually shouldn't do this here. This, this is not a pause button, I think. Okay, so this way? This way, because this will be east. This is this is east, so it should be over here somewhere. Hi, Bress, where are you? No, what are you? You're new. No, stay away from me. I don't want to know what you are. No, 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 no,
to go past one captain. I think that's impossible, and that's what I want to watch someone do. If anybody ever does that, I need to see it. If you if you know somebody who does that, let me like tell me. I want to go watch it because, oh my goodness gracious, what the? F I hate you, you. I hate you. I hate the Scriveners. I hate that ball of glue, mm, and that tentacle thing. Ugh. It's, ugh. Cold takes me. I don't think the cold takes me. I think that thing takes me. I think the bat tentacle monster takes me. Let's see. Let's see. Convention did not dictate. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's go back up. They managed to reclaim Matilda Briggs. Spatchcock reclaimed mo locomotive. Though most fixtures were reclaimed, the crown and misery pneumatic mining array was unfortunately lost. It usually is. Your predecessor's academic affiliations resulted in a generous donation from an admirer of their intellectual rigor. Convention did not dictate your predecessor's life. Their fellow bohemians collaborated to provide this gift in their memory. An honest gift or stolen goods. Your predecessor's villainous affiliations have profited you well. The bank, after funeral expenses, passed on what was left of their estate. You inherit a copy of your predecessor's chart, though it lacks the details of their final voyage. Bruh, you don't want to go there. You will begin your career with the benefit of some of your predecessor's experience. Get 317 sovereigns, start at level 2, fill in some of the chart. I get a Tale of Terror, Sky Story, Otherworldly Artifact. Cool. The, the difficulty doesn't even do nothing. It doesn't do nothing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, it's a, a, like, I would like to just, maybe, maybe I could just go with and see what the other options are, because there's a, I don't think I, did re there's rev no wait I did do revolutionary that got me killed no wait no yes or was it soldier no I lived through soldier a little bit I think I didn't do priest or zailer and I can't remember if I did auditor or revolutionary no I did do auditor because auditor was uh, the department of yeah revolutionary you marched, and when marching wasn't enough, you fought. Lies are to the tyrants. Sure. Okay, so I didn't do a priest, a sailor, and a revolutionary. So I think I'm going to do those next. Let me just let me just build let me just build the character so that way I don't have to come back again. Let me just. Oh, I know I said that I would quit, but oh, I just I want to see the options. Okay, I just I just I have to see the options. We all know I'm gonna die, but I'm just gonna see the options. Actually, no, I won't even, I won't, no, but, oh, uh, no, but I want, oh, uh, you know that if I start playing, I'm gonna keep dying and just, ugh. okay, okay, let me just click through these. I just, I'm just gonna click through these just to see what they are. So, a priest, hymns and hymnals, Sundays and sermons, a bright-eyed sequencer, the new sequence, the new sequence was a young creed then. Now it has spread to the highest offices of the church with her majesty's blessing. The Bishop of Southwark. It was illegal to hunt to or harass devils. They were citizens of London, like you, but the bishop did not care. Your parishioners. Sisyphus had it easy. He never had to contend with Mrs. Quig. I don't know what that means. Okay, so if I were going to choose the priest, I would be making the character around my NPC husbando, uh, Bison Maddox. And I think he would be a your parishioners person. Um, so, you preach the word and brought the needs of the world before the church in intercession, but besides God Almighty, to whom did you answer? I want to say it was the parishioners. Because um, I don't see him as someone who would have followed, like, like he did believe in... Uh, a certain god I can't remember who it was it was an unnamed god who if you found his name would destroy all of everything uh, but he preached for Avandra so I don't know but um, I think he would go with your parishioners and I he would go with wealth for sure uh, and yeah so that's that's who I think would be there um Posey, if you're in, if you're watching this at all, you can let me know if I'm wrong about who Devin, Aureus, and 
spice it would be. I don't know if any of these would be Harrison. He'd probably be an academic because he like drinks Red Bull and well, his version of Red Bull and reads all the time. It does not sleep. But uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, these D&D characters, uh, they are NPC husbandos of my friends and I. Um, so, a sailor, you roved the mournful, merciless waters in the Unterzee. I want to say that this would be Oris. Oris was like the leader of uh, our husbandos. Uh, the, it was the the group was called Griseo Dextra. Like he could be a soldier for sure, but I would have chosen a sailor because it's a captain and he is basically a captain. Um, so you were the captain. You remember bats swinging across a still black sea, the distant lights of London calling you home. Salty prayers offered to heedless gods. It was a hard life and often a short one, but you made your mark. I also think Bison would be under this one too if he was um, not a priest, but being what he got to be, which was like a, a, he wanted to be a pirate basically. But um, so you smuggled, you explored, you bought and sold. You bought and you sold, huh? I want to say you bought and you sold, but and you smuggled because he was, his thing was in drugs. He was a drug dealer. He, <laughs> they sold drugs. Um, I know our NPC husbandos. They they were bad people, but also not that bad. Okay, not that bad. I mean, they did, uh, did they did sell people as well, but they weren't that bad. Okay, they, I mean, they, it's, it's 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 a certain type of game that we were playing. Okay, um. Let's see. Her Majesty's Navy had a great many opinions on what should and should be sold in her territories. Your opinions were rather different. Uh, you explored. Yours were far lonely journeys. You endured nameless hardships. You rallied your crew in the face of utmost uncertainty. You bought and you sold. You were a merchant. A precarious life lived on the knife edge between fortune and ruin. I think I would go with smuggles. I think he'd be a smuggler. And I think he would go for fame and I want to say fame because he literally made his title he made a title for himself and he loves it when people call him by that title like if you want to increase your affinity with this character you call him knight commander and you salute him and things like that like my character was from the military so she's like oh you're higher rank than me so i need to salute you and she did not realize that it was a made-up thing until like later on she's like wait you made this up it's not it's not real so then she like makes fun of him for it and uh yeah but she she yeah so i'm, I'm pretty sure he would be a smuggler and then a revolutionary would be uh devon Sinclair, he was the spy master. He was Drow, and as we all know, since I'm saying he and Drow, it was not very good life for him. So definitely revolutionary. He he got out of the underdark as soon as he could. Um, the world is broken. One way for the rich, another for the poor. You decided to do something about it. Uh, with your feet and your fists, with your mind, with your art. Oh sh no, he would never. Like, he's very artsy, but he would never let people know. Um, art travels swiftly. It cannot be imprisoned. It cannot be hanged. Uh, with your mind, lies are the tools of tyrants. You published research to expose those lies and eliminate just injustice. I don't think he would publish anything to expose anybody. Like, he definitely would use his mind to get an injustices and things but i think he would just like whisper in people's ears and tell them what needed to be done and like that type of thing i don't think he would actually like write things and publish them i don't i don't think that'd be him you marched when marching wasn't enough you fought i feel like this would be him i feel like there'd be a combination of with your feet and your fists and with your mind i feel like i would need to flip a coin to decide which one it would be or i would need to call a Posey and be like, Posey, which one of these most fits Devin Sinclair? Um, mm, I, I don't know how he escaped the Underdark, but because he's a spy master, I'm gonna go with With Your Mind, even though I don't think he would publish research. That is, I think that's what I would do. And then he doesn't want people to have his name. But he doesn't care about money like this dude lived 
in a tower with just a bedroll. He, he did not care where he lived as long as he protected what was necessary. Um, but he didn't want people to have his name. He's like, no, this is my name. Only I can have this name. So I'm pretty sure fame would tick him off. And also he's a spy master, so it's not good to be a famous spy. So I think the truth is the only option available to him that might fit. Um, what drives you? Curiosity, justice, insolence, whatever it is, it will be tested. Probably insolence. Yeah, he, yeah, I could see him being insolent. I mean, the Underdark is what it is, and he fought against that. So, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. If I kept playing this game, I would try those three characters in those three aspects. But I'm not going to continue this game because I am too mad at the deaths and freaked out over how fast you can die with those scary scary things that keep following me uh, I don't like that fat monster and also I am very hungry so um yes I'm gonna go ahead and end it here and we will have a new game to play on Wednesdays because oh my goodness no no not coming back to this no you'd have to pay me or like bribe me with delicious food goods I don't know oh hey my alarm just went off. It's been an hour. Cool. I talked until it was time. Um, but yes, this was Sunless Skies. Go ahead and try it at your own peril. It's good if you don't care about dying a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Like, oh my gosh. If I tried this again, I think I would only play wealth mode and I would upgrade storage and cannery and like oh my gosh it's so difficult so so difficult i don't even know i don't even know how i made it this far those edges are bastards um but yes i hope you all had a lovely wonderful time watching this and i hope you have a wonderful lovely rest of your morning evening afternoon and i will see you guys tomorrow okay bye